Doctrine and Covenants of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Section 97, a Revelation Given Through Joseph Smith, the Prophet, at Kirtland, Ohio, August 2, 1833. This revelation deals particularly with the affairs of the saints in Zion, Jackson County, Missouri, in response to the Prophet's inquiry of the Lord for information. Members of the church in Missouri were at this time subjected to severe persecution, and on July 23, 1833, had been forced to sign an agreement to leave Jackson County. 1 and 2. Many of the saints in Zion, Jackson County, Missouri, are blessed for their faithfulness. 3 through 5. Parley P. Pratt is commended for his labors in the school in Zion. 6 through 9. Those who observe their covenants are accepted by the Lord. 10-17. through 17, A house is to be built in Zion, in which the pure in heart will see God. 18-21. through 21, Zion is the pure in heart. 22-28. through 28, Zion will escape the Lord's scourge if she is faithful. Verily I say unto you, my friends, I speak unto you with my voice, even the voice of my spirit, that I may show unto you my will concerning your brethren in the land of Zion, many of whom are truly humble, and are seeking diligently to learn wisdom and to find truth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Blessed are such, for they shall obtain. For I, the Lord, show mercy unto all the meek, and upon all whomsoever I will, that I may be justified when I shall bring them unto judgment. Behold, I say unto you, Concerning the school in Zion, I, the Lord, am well pleased that there should be a school in Zion, and also with my servant Parley P. Pratt, for he abideth in me. And inasmuch as he continueth to abide in me, he shall continue to preside over the school in the land of Zion, until I shall give unto him other commandments. And I will bless him with a multiplicity of blessings, and expounding all scriptures and mysteries to the edification of the school and of the church in Zion. And to the residue of the school, I, the Lord, am willing to show mercy. Nevertheless, there are those that must needs be chastened, and their works shall be made known. The axe is laid at the root of the trees, and every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit shall be hewn down and cast into the fire. I, the Lord, have spoken it. Verily I say unto you, All among them who know their hearts are honest, and are broken, and their spirits contrite, and are willing to observe their covenants by sacrifice, yea, every sacrifice which I the Lord shall command, they are accepted of me. For I the Lord will cause them to bring forth as a very fruitful tree which is planted in a goodly land by a pure stream that yieldeth much precious fruit. Verily I say unto you, that it is my will that a house should be built unto me in the land of Zion, like unto the pattern which I have given you. Yea, let it be built speedily, the tithing of my people. Behold, this is the tithing and the sacrifice which I the Lord require at their hands, that there may be a house built unto me for the salvation of Zion, for a place of thanksgiving for all saints and for a place of instruction for all those who are called to the work of the ministry in all their several callings and offices, that they may be perfected in the understanding of their ministry, in theory, in principle, and in doctrine, in all things pertaining to the kingdom of God on the earth, the keys of which kingdom have been conferred upon you. And inasmuch as my people build a house unto me in the name of the Lord, and do not suffer any unclean thing to come into it, that it be not defiled. My glory shall rest upon it. Yea, and my presence shall be there, for I will come into it. And all the pure in heart that shall come into it shall see God. But if it be defiled, I will not come into it. And my glory shall not be there, for I will not come into unholy temples. And now behold, if Zion do these things, she shall prosper, and spread herself, and become very glorious, very great, and very terrible. And the nations of the earth shall honor her, and shall say, Surely Zion is the city of our God, 
and surely Zion cannot fall, neither be moved out of her place. For God is there, and the hand of the Lord is there. And he has sworn by the power of his might to be her salvation and her high tower. Therefore, verily thus saith the Lord, Let Zion rejoice, for this is Zion, the pure in heart. Therefore, let Zion rejoice while all the wicked shall mourn. For behold and lo, vengeance comes speedily upon the ungodly as the whirlwind. And who shall escape it? The Lord's scourge shall pass over by night and by day. The report thereof shall vex all people. Yea, it shall not be stayed until the Lord come. For the indignation of the Lord is kindled against their abominations and all their wicked works. Nevertheless, Zion shall escape, if she observe to do all things whatsoever I have commanded her. But if she observe not to do whatsoever I have commanded her, I will visit her according to all her works, with sore affliction, with pestilence, with plague, with sword, with vengeance, with devouring fire. Nevertheless, let it be read this once to her ears, that I, the Lord, have accepted of her offering, and if she sin no more, none of these things shall come upon her. And I will bless her with blessings, and multiply a multiplicity of blessings upon her, and upon her generations for ever and ever, saith the Lord your God. Amen.